What's up guys, it's Alex and G-Pike, some people call me Alex, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reading another Scary Text Message story, episode 3 of Come Find Me, and you guys can tell I started reading this story, it was only a one minute long video, um, cause the timer thingy popped up, so if you're new to the video of the channel, please hit the the subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and press the thumbs up button, and I'll see you after this video. Well, it's a habit, I always say that at the end of the video. So let's get started. Lainey. Good thing I was already dressed up from dinner, or I wouldn't have gotten in. How did you not remember the dress code? And also, when there's capital letters, I cannot yell because... I'm not home alone. My pa adopted parents are in the room, so yeah. Can not yell. If I had my own place, I could. Don't sass me, bitch. I haven't been to the Magic Castle since I was 10. Just. Oh, that was D. Sorry. Just get a dress on and get back here quick. And don't stop for donuts. Don't it tell me how to live my life. Are you serious? Get home. What if we have to drive to another cl clue soon? Why don't you solve the first clue before you worry about that? Okay. I'm at the piano, but nobody named Om is sitting here to give it to me. Excuse me. Actually, nobody is sitting at the piano. Om's a ghost. A oh, ghost, if you will. What do you mean? You ask her to play a song, and the piano just starts playing the song. Bullshit. You have to ask nicely, though, so ask her to play the clue. You just want me to look crazy like I'm talking to myself. Listen. Sorry guys, I was in a seizure. Um, where was I? Listen, you do an okay job of making yourself sound crazy without my help. Just ask her to play something. Someone in front of me just asked her to play 50 cents in the club. And, holy shit! It worked! Awesome! Go, shorty! It's your birthday! <laughs> There's one more person in front of me than I can ask. I wonder if I'm going to meet him tonight. I'm nervous and I keep daydreaming. It's Steve. I think it is. No. Never mind. It's not Steve, and maybe he's there right now. Have you been looking around? Lainey? Um. So, there's some dude in a skeleton mask staring at me from the bar. He's creeping me out. Maybe it's just a prop or something. His arms move, and not like one of those robot people at Disneyland, like a human. Is he with anyone? No, which makes things even creepier. What if that's him? If it is, who... Has two thumbs and said it was probably going to be some weird dude. <laughs> Shut up. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm going to try to ignore him. She's playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Hmm. Lullaby star Stars Night. Oh my god. What? Did you figure out who it is? Lainey? Do I need to call 911 on that dude in the mask? <laughs> Hello? 20 minutes later. Daryl? What the fuck? Where did you go? So just as Om finished a song, I noticed that the dude in the mask charging at me. What? 
Yeah, I scream. He claims he just wants to do a magic trick for me. A god grabs him, yelling about the mask and the dress code. He refuses to take the mask off and gets dragged outside. Cool. But on his way out, he hands this sick-looking magician guy who he calls Uncle Perry this piece of paper, telling him to hand it to me for his friend. Just as the guy is about to give it to me, he projectile vomits all over the piano and me. Ew. And then passes out face first on the floor. Hello? You still there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I threw myself on the floor laughing. Thanks. Did you get the paper? Yeah. I can't believe I missed that kind of comedy. What does it say? Dreams are like stars. You may never touch them, but if you follow them, they will lead you to your destiny. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. Hmm, both clues have stars in them. Maybe they're talking about the Walk of Fame. Stars? Celebrities? You're kidding, right? I'm not figuring this out right now. What? I'm standing in a magic fucking castle covered in vomit. After an insane man in a murder mask gave me the next clue. You can't stop now. I want to see how it ends. It probably ends in an abandoned warehouse with me on a meat hook. Whoever orchestrated this is a, a hot mess and clearly not Steve. I shouldn't have gotten so excited. Oh, chew up, chicky. Can you please just pick me up about that? So... My mom freaked out about me taking the car without her permission. And I'm kind of garden right now. So how am I supposed to get home? I don't know. Call your parents? Uber? I just spent my last $20 to get in here. And my parents think I'm at your house. Well, shit. Maybe my cousin Joe can come get you. Hell no. The last time I saw him, he sniffed my hair and told me he wanted to eat it. Ew. <laughs> hmm. What about that nerd across the street from you? Ben? Doesn't he have a car? Yeah, but I haven't talked to him in years. It would be weird. I think he's your only bet right now. I sure you can't come get me. I wish I could. You know my mom. Call that guy. He once gave me the answers to one of my math exams. He'll probably do it. Fine. I'll get his number and text him. Sorry, girl. A few hours later. 202-555-0166. Hello? Is this Ben Quarley? That's what I do all the time when people give me their phone numbers. Because one time I give someone my phone number, he was a guy. This was before I got together with my boyfriend now. This happened last July. He gave me the wrong phone number. Ben, who is this? Hey, it's Lainey from across the street. Listen, I know... <sighs> I know it's been a while, but I need a huge favor. Ben looks wide-eyed at his phone, then promptly faints. <laughs> Hello? Ben? <laughs> that's kind of dramatic, but that's hilarious. That's the end of today's video. If you like on the podcast, please hit the subscribe button and turn on all post notifications. And smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.